Unfortunately, while this discovery is not what we were hoping for, we are thankful to be able to bring Maddie home to her family. 69 days, that is how long it took to find missing Winona woman Madeline Kingsbury. Madeline, known to many as Maddie, disappeared on March 31st. And yesterday afternoon, her body was found just off of a gravel road in southern Minnesota. And then just a couple of hours after that, the father of Maddie's two children was arrested. Tonight, Adam Frable is in jail, held on probable cause for second degree murder. We have a lot to get through in this developing story that has really just gripped the state. We have team coverage for you to help explain all of these developments. Our Rob Olson gets us started live in Winona with the day's latest developments. Yeah, what is unclear here is exactly when to expect criminal charge or charges against Adam Fravel. He's being held at the jail here in Winona, but of course, uh, Maddie Kingsbury's remains were found down in Fillmore County. So again, there's two counties involved here as investigators try to put together the pieces, but today again, confirming what many had feared. Digital evidence collected by investigators led us to this area. It was in the area of this intersection along Highway 43, a few miles north of Mabel, which is not far from the Iowa border, and in a brushy area off of a public gravel road, where Maddie Kingsbury's remains were found early Wednesday afternoon, confirmed by the medical examiner on Thursday morning. The area had been previously searched, but Maddie's body was covered and concealed in such a manner that she was not visible. At 5.20 Wednesday afternoon, Fillmore County deputies arrested 30-year-old Adam Fravel at a home in Mabel without incident. Maddie's remains, they say, were found not far from Fravel's parents' house, but the sheriff made very clear not on their property. The Fravel property is, is within uh, the same area of Fillmore County, I would say within several minutes of where this is, and I think that's about as specific as we want to get. But they declined to elaborate any further on any other evidence against Fravel, who was Maddie's ex-boyfriend, seen here just a few days ago at a custody hearing for their children. Only that digital evidence, either phone or computer data, led a deputy to search that area again. There were efforts made to conceal the location of the body, and it was not visible from the roadway. The chief declined to say if they believed the remains had ever been moved and as to the question of any potential accomplices, that that is still under investigation. We have said that we will hold anyone involved in Madeline's disappearance accountable, and we are here to tell you that we will hold steadfast on that commitment. So much of that area along that road had been previously searched because on the day of Maddie's disappearance, investigators had said months ago that her van was uh, had departed Winona, gone down 43 towards Mabel and back, that Adam Fravel had been gone for a couple of hours saying when he got back, she was missing. So again, they had focused on those areas before. One other thing they were waiting for today from the medical examiner was a cause of death or manner of death, which of course is also crucial in prosecuting a alleged murder. Now, obviously very emotional down here in Winona. So many people uh, feeling so close to this case, close to her as well. For more on that, let's go to Mary McGuire, who's been down here many times covering the search for Maddie Kingsbury. And now that search has ended. Mary. And Rob, Maddie's family had said that their goal was to bring her home by her birthday on June 1st. That, of course, was just one week ago. And although this isn't how they hoped her story would end, they have some sense of closure tonight. Law enforcement has confirmed the remains are those of Madeline Kingsbury. <laughs> Audible sobs from Maddie Kingsbury's friends and loved ones Thursday afternoon after law enforcement confirmed their worst fears had come true. Human remains found in Fillmore County were positively identified as their beloved Maddie. She's home, but not the way we wanted. Um, it's a lot to process. We, uh, we were kind of hoping that she would be alive and just in somewhere and, and sorry. Katie Kolka was a longtime friend of Maddie's and called in the welfare check on the day she went missing. Keep your lights on. Um, uh, support us through the trial. It's going to be a rough one.
Maddie's family was not in Winona for the announcement, but in a statement to Fox 9, Maddie's dad David thanked law enforcement and volunteers for their months of intensive searching. We're certain that the correct person has been arrested, will be appropriately charged and convicted of his crimes. Things are moving in the right direction, and we look forward to getting justice for Madeline. Morning, TikTok. Megan Kingsbury has been a vocal advocate for her sister since she went missing, especially on social media. Although they are still waiting on formal charges, she said her family is relieved Fravel is behind bars. The whirlwind is just starting all over again. This is definitely a silver lining. We're glad that he's in custody and he's not walking around as a free man anymore. Now, friends of Maddie also held up signs at the press conference today. They said things like justice for Maddie's kids and also she mattered. So a very emotional day at City Hall. A benefit for Maddie's two children is planned this weekend in Winona. Reporting live in Winona, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. All right, Mary. Well, it's been a long few months, so how did we get here? Over the last 69 days, there have been dozens of searches and even more tips. Our Tim Blotz walks us through the major points of this case from Maddie's disappearance to today. We're talking about a timeline here where hundreds, if not thousands of people dropped everything to come out and search for Maddie. Of course, this all started on March 31st. This is the day Maddie disappeared after dropping her two children off at daycare. A couple of days go by, and on April 5th, the BCA comes out and says that her disappearance is involuntary and suspicious. And this is when many of those weekend searches across two counties all begins. A month goes by. Still no sign of Maddie. On May 5th, we now have a massive vigil for Maddie in Winona, hoping to bring her home. Still another month goes by, June 5th, and Adam is in court on this past Monday, fighting for the custody of the two children. And then two days later, June 7th, Maddie's body is finally found and Adam is arrested. During this time, we're talking about a span of 69 days from when Maddie first disappeared. All right, thanks, Tim. Well, of course, there are so many details to sort through here. Our Fox 9 digital team has put together an in-depth timeline, even going minute by minute. And you can find that and more continuing coverage on our website, fox9.com.